This short video presentation is looking at the personal protective equipment that we should think of using as basics responders. Probably the single most useful piece of kit to carry is plenty of uh, protective gloves in appropriate sizes. Not only will these protect you, but they'll also protect members of the public who you may need to help you in terms of holding necks still and this sort of thing. Obviously a protective jacket is very important uh, and important that it's reflective. I've personally got the Logigma one-piece suit, uh, which suits me for most of my needs, although it's a bit warm in summer. Good footwear is important, and this is a pair of protective boots that I was actually given by the fire service, which are resistant to diesel. Uh, they're Gore-Tex, they've also got a steel toe cap, so they give me a good deal of protection at road accidents particularly. A good quality helmet is essential, again for road accident work, one made from Kevlar, mine has a torch on it and also an adjustable face shield. Good hand protection over and above the gloves is also essential when there's cut metal and glass around. And I've got two pairs of Kevlar gloves. My standard pair, and this is a new pair that I've just been given by Logigma, which actually have sawn off index and middle fingertips, and also thumb, which is meant to improve the grip. And I'll be trying those out over this summer. And I also have separate eye protection um, over and above my helmet for some situations where I may be in a vehicle with a patient while the fire brigade are doing glass management. And finally, another freebie from the fire service is a fire protected hood um, for those situations where a vehicle fire may be expected. So there's quite a lot of equipment that you can carry for personal protection, but really what price do you put on your own safety? And I think all these items are fairly important, particularly if you're going to be doing road accident work.